So what we're doing is educate, educating ourselves in the nature of, of our minds. And what could be more important to do that? It's totally amazing to consider what we're doing. And, and also to consider that that is truly the basis of everything else. Every other education, every other engagement in life. That is, to have the foundation in place, educating ourselves in the nature of mind and how to meet all of these things and this, this stream of data and the, all the impressions that continuously is going on. Um, and the data could be just the thoughts, emotions, our, our history, like our back backpack of everything we experienced could be our data and what we are in now and what we are longing for and everything that's going on and to have to be introduced to this training and to get tools on how to most optimize that stream that is totally random and, and that we didn't have any any tools, any education before, that is amazing. And that's what we're doing here in Balance to You when you come to a meeting. If it's the first, if it's the number 10,000, it's always the same. <laughs> and the purpose is always the same, is education in the nature of mind. That never goes obsolete. It's always, it's always on the top of the shelf. It's always... Um, it's always some situation or some areas in life or, or some data stream that, that is needed and that you know the practice comes handy. <laughs> and the practice is really, really simple and efficient and it's bulletproof. <laughs> and that is <laughs> one simple practice of the short moments, short moments of open intelligence. And what is, what is open intelligence? And, and, and that is actually to relax the mind completely and stop thinking and st stop describing for just a second. And then there is the alertness of open intelligence that is stable and clear and that is present regardless of all the data streams. And the, the amazing thing is that this, is, this has been going on all our lives. Like the basis, the foundation, the, the wisdom source, the, the total intelligence has always been there. Open intelligence, but we, we didn't recognize it because we were so busy. <laughs> busy about the data streams, the data, and sorting it out. Positive, negative, neutral. And what was totally obvious to me is that it didn't work and I couldn't get the data streams in the correct package um, like I wanted it to, to avoid the negative things. And just, just to know that now, when I take a short moment and when I relax, I, I, I get in touch with what is ba the basis of everything what is at the basis of this intelligence. And, and that is amazing because when we emphasize that more and more, then open intelligence gets into the foreground and, and all the data streams in the background. And that's, that's the education in the nature of mind. It is training up to see what's at the basis and what is stable and what has the wisdom and, and, and what has all the solutions what, what, what is the basis of all of the descriptions with simultaneously as the descriptions arises. So, so that, that is what we're doing when we take a short moment or do anything else of the, of, the, of the four mainstays. And it's really simple. In a way, it's too simple because it... it well, how, how can that be, just the perception in the mind that it has such an effect? But it really has. 
it is really important to to emphasize the nature of of, of the mind and to educate in the nature of mind. Because what we see when it is clear that we can have another strategy for using the mind instead of going after the positive one and avoiding the negative, feeling terrified if any data stream that is not wanted, like feeling not good enough, wanting to be acknowledged, feeling social awkwardness, feeling my craving for food or my craving for coffee or chocolate is shouldn't be there. Uh, it's all fine to let that be as it is. And it, it is actually impossible to get rid of it. Like the data streams, they flow, they come up regardless. But our job then is to relax for a short moment and, and stop the describing and just feel the ease of open intelligence. And when we do that more and more, then it's easier to live life and to be with all the data streams and to feel up for facing all the data streams. Because like for me, I really felt that I, for the first time when I trained up in taking the short moments, um, could allow for the real me in a way. I mean, all of me and all of everything and not be so limited as to what I could um, picture a part of myself that was mainly the positive data streams. It was so limited. Could never be angry, could never be frustrated, never be stressed. There's so much potency I didn't want to feel. I didn't want part of my life. And just, just opening up for this essence that is, that is reality, that is all of us, that is so potent. That was really powerful. And that we can test more and more in, in these situations. We can test when there's a situation we feel we don't want to face people. We feel that we, we, we don't like them or it feels overwhelming or we want to be with ourselves. Just then we could just test the short moments and test how is it to take a short moment when I'm feeling I don't want to relate to this person, I want to be alone, I want to fly out on another planet, or I don't want to be with a lot of people, and it, it feels uncomfortable. A trained reaction then is to do something to get rid of it. To either say, okay, I love this person, it's the most amazing person on the planet, it's like replacing, or just go to another place and just say, this is, I don't want to cope with it. Or just let it be as it is and see what's, what's happening then. And if that's allowed to be as it is, then more and more there is the relaxedness there anyway, that it, that it is there, regardless of all the descriptions of how it should look. And then that opens up for you know, our relaxedness, when we are more relaxed with all the data about how to react or how to relate or feeling social awkward, then that has an effect on the other person. So that's how we train up, but just when it feels really, really sticky, we can take the short moment and, and allow for that, allow for that ease and openness as it is there. And if it feels difficult, then okay, that's fine. We can just try again the next time we remember to. And the short moments, that's only one of the four mainstays. That's the support network of Balanced View. So the support network is primarily the, uh, firstly, the, the um, practice of the short moments that is always available. And then we have the media that's on the website with the talks and the text and all the shares and everything, visuals that we can look at. And that, that's the direct reminder of the short moments, all this open intelligence that is always available. 
So we can have that with us. We can have the text and we can write it out and make it be close at heart. And then we have the trainer that is available for support. And we can write to you if we have some kind of issue in our life that it feels really sticky. We can write and get support and how they resolve the same data. And then there's the, f the fourth mainstay, the, the community of people that does exactly the same. And to me, that was really, really trustworthy to see that it's not just a few people training up in the nature of a mind. There are quite many. And if you look at the web page, you will see the stories of so many people that are really, really powerful because they have their own experience, not something trained or something learned or something they feel that they have to say, but their personal experience of what comes about when we train up in open intelligence, what comes about when we, we relax. And that is, um, I can share my experience, and that is, I feel I get more and more real. I feel my mind is clearing up. My mind is becoming more open and more able to, to be a benefit and to find solutions and to not collapse in stress and to, to, be, to serve in a more optimal way, way collaborate more, have, have more empowered relationships with my family and friends. So these are just a few of the benefits of the practice. And, and when, we, when we practice and when we tap into that, that's just a starting point. And then you can say, what's, what's going to happen when we train up and how is this lifestyle going to be? And that's our personal unique way and how, of how it is demonstrated. It is our gift, strengths and talents and, and you know, the results, it's, it's coming about spontaneously. And we can look back in one week or one month or six months, one year, and see that in some areas in life, things look different. They just look different because it doesn't feel so personal, because we see that we can be true leaders in our life and feel if they... If we have a passion, we just go for it. And we feel we do not dependent on some kind of authority figure saying, okay, now you can do it, you're, you're, you're approved. <laughs> or we can go out and be a benefit. But we see we have so much to offer. So that's just the, the starting point with the education. And we go out there and we show up and, and contribute for benefits. So that's, that's amazing. Thank you so much, friends.